Like if somebody were to hear me describe DMHA and describe modafinil, they kind of sound pretty similar, but they're wildly, wildly different. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. I kind of wanted to do a little topic video of me kind of technically being scared or afraid to take DMHA and DMAA again. Now, I don't really want to say that I'm scared or that I'm really fearful. If I had to take some, it would be fine. DMA and DMHA, again, it's been a little while since I've taken them. I am a little bit of an expert though, because I've taken both like at least 40, 50 times on their own. After discovering the modafinil analogs and after, you know, having some access to a small little bit of Adderall, I don't really know the best time to really use these. I mean, they're very physical stimulants. You would want to be physically working working for like five or six hours. The last time that I took DMHA, it was really weird because it's kind of like this half Adderall-y feeling to where it's like totally doesn't feel like Adderall but then there's times where it kind of does, and it's a much, much, much more physical stimulation than something like modafinil. And I didn't really notice that until I retook it and even compared it to modafinil. Now, modafinil, I mean, I never really felt too much physical energy. Now, again, it will come, I'm sure it will. Like it, it's one of the most potent stimulants that I've ever tried. And then on top of that, DMHA and DMA, they last so long. They just kind of, I don't want to say ravage your system, but it's like, it's a lot on your body. It's a lot of tax on your body, you know, and you're gonna have maybe some residual effects even up until the next day. And then it's, again, it's so physical. Like if I had to do something mentally and I was on DMHA, it would be really bad because I would just be like angry and frustrated. I need to do something physical where the modafinil would come in better. And then again, like these are so strong that you know I, I would never take modafinil two days in a row i would never take dmha two days in a row like in an extreme circumstance maybe if i needed to i would but generally i take a long breaks most of the time at least two days in between them to make sure they really work now if these are the only stimulants that you have i mean they are great uh, it is nice if you take caffeine all the time and you do switch over to dmha or dma it is going to be like next level you are going to get a long long bit of energy it would be great for some physical labor physical work like i remember one of my buddies i got him to take dmha and dma while he would go surfing to be honest guys these are great stimulants maybe if you guys write me to and convince me to take them again down below i will but i have just a nice groove of all my like harder stimulants right now and like again i can't take very much of them so it's like I don't really want to throw away a day. So anyways, guys, I really wanted to do a video comparing like modafinil to DMHA, DMAA, maybe even Adderall, a couple other stimulants. Just I kind of understand the differences in peaks and valleys in between them. And so like if somebody were to hear me describe DMHA and describe modafinil, they kind of sound pretty similar, but they're wildly, wildly different. So it'd be cool to do a video comparing all those, but I don't want to make a video Video comparing all those unless I can try DMHA and try DMA a, a lot again I'm kind of afraid to because of how long it's gonna last and then I have to give up a day of modafinil or whatever to get to that point so convince me should I keep taking them should I not take them if I had some amp citrate or amp I would take that and I consider amp to be very similar to those two but I like amp the best I'm just out of it right now Area Gerenesis is good again too. Maybe I need to try that one. But anyways, guys, just kind of wanted to make an update on DMHA and DMAA. I feel like I've taken it maybe like once in like a year. And that's because I discovered the modafinil analogs and they are just amazing. We're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and I couldn't do it without any of you guys' help. You guys are the best. I'm having a great day out here. Hopefully I'm having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.